guys, we're coming to you with a video on how do DJI drones measure altitude. Um, it's not a very common question, but you might wonder it like, how do they know, how does that screen know I'm 20 meters above the ground and can I trust that? And the answer is, yes, you can trust it, but you're right to question it. So let's take a look at a few things here and uh, I'll explain them. So looking here at DJI drones, you know, the Mavic, the Spark, the Mini, the Phantom, the majority of all these drones, they actually use a barometer or an altimeter to measure the altitude. Um, old school, this is an old school barometer. Galileo back in the day didn't know what was going on. There was an argument with one of his students. You can look it up on how or about a barometer. Basically, um, you create a vacuum at the top of this glass here, and it's you have the pressure, the atmospheric pressure out here, and the pressure here match. It's the same because it's an open system. And so using the pressure, you can go through a calculation on calculation here to find the altitude. Um, now, obviously you might be wondering, my drone doesn't have any device like this or like this inside it. And that is true. These devices measure pressure. So in the modern day now, we have a digital sensor. Um, it looks just like a little bitty sensor like this. It is the new generation sensor from TE. Um, TE is just some brand. But um, basically, it's sensitive enough that it will measure the pressure on that sensor and electronically put a value to it. You can see here, um, this sensor module includes a high linearity pressure sensor and an ultra low power 24-bit Delta Sigma ADC with internal factory calibrated coefficients. Whew! Um, precise digital 24-bit pressure and temperature value. So it takes the pressure and then it calculates through this equation here the altitude, Z. Or as I would say, Z. Um, in this calculation, you can see C is a constant, T is the absolute temperature, P is the pressure at altitude, Z, and PO is the pressure at sea level. Um, this is what your drone is doing. Now, it doesn't just rely on this. It also uses AGL, above, gr or above ground level reference. Um, and the reason it needs this above ground level reference is that say you got to set an altitude at something, right? You set it there and then it has an idea on your initial elevation so that that way it kind of knows as it goes off that that was zero. And then it will maintain the values of that calculation back to that elevation. Um, so when I say that it's a good thing you asked the question if it's accurate, Say, for example, you know, you're set there at zero elevation. You can only fly for most of these drones for 30 minutes. But say you fly up there and you're 15, 20 minutes in the flight and some storm's about to come through and the air pressure changes a bunch, it could, it could mess with your altitude. And there's been some studies shown with drones that come down and don't reset their zero altitude multiple times. They just swap out the batteries without turning the drone off and on to reset that algorithm and reset that initial elevation and their elevation values get off and off and off. So it is something to look at. Now you might be wondering, well wasn't GPS? What about GPS? And GPS just tracks more of really X, Y. It actually doesn't track the, the vertical that well. However, um, fancier, more expensive the higher end DJI drones, enterprise drones, you get into commercial operations, a lot of them use RTK system. That's a real time kinetic. You have a ground station that communicates with the drone and it'll tell you they kind of the um, the error or the 
all the calculation is done from the from the ground station. So you've got nothing on, on board the drone for it. And you can get a much more accurate idea of elevation within inches on a good RTK system. The only thing is then is they have to communicate. So the range on them are pretty good. I mean, a lot of time you can go nine, ten kilometers, five, six miles, seven miles, um, and they'll still communicate. So that's really your best option for perfect accuracy on your elevation. Um, however, I hope I explained everything on that little digital pressure gauge and how it calculates and figures out your elevation and gives you a better idea of how your drone calculates its elevation. Um, it's a kind of a question I've asked myself, especially when you, you fly off a bluff, say you're at zero, zero meters, zero feet, and then you fly over, you know, you go up five, ten feet, and then you go below the bluff and you're in negative feet, you know, because it sets that reference, like I said, it uses AGL, above ground level reference. That's why when you fly below where you took off, it tells you you're at negative zero. None of that elevation is referenced to actual above sea level. It's all from your initial takeoff spot. That's why I recommend, like, um, if you're coming up and landing or whatever, to um, fully reset your drone, you know, rather than just swapping the batteries and going off again, to actually, to actually reboot it and calibrate it so that it knows its elevation. Other than that, I hope you found that interesting. And um, please like and subscribe. I'll be coming up with more cool stuff. And it's just going to keep getting better. So subscribe, and I'll hit you guys up with some cool stuff. All right. See you later, eh?